Well, first of all, my name is Stephanie Corte, and this is George Galindo. Basically, I first thought of the idea because I wanted to make a difference in this university. I, I saw how much passion I had for UTPA, and I wanted to find a place where I could really make a change, really leave something behind, really affect the students' everyday lives, because I did want to see the best for this university. I wanted to see this university grow. I wanted to see programs and, and plans come out so that the students could benefit more from this university. And I ended up coming to George and I said, George, I have this idea, let's do it. I mean, he has the same goals and, 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 and spirit as I do. And I knew that he was the perfect running mate for me because we both want to see this university reach as high as it can. Its maximum potential. Yes. For me, what decided what I decided to do was Steph approached me with the idea and I had always wanted to become involved with SGA. It's a great organization. It's a great voice for students that may not have enough, um, not ambition, but enough emotion to go ahead and, and voice their expressions, but they do have concerns. And what we wanted to do was as executive tickets was portray their voice of each student so that their voices can be heard. For me as an individual, Coming into SGA, I said, it's a great opportunity, it's a great program, I'm surrounded by great people. And when I was approached with Steph about this, she went ahead and, and our platforms were the same, we had the same ideas, the same goals. And we worked as executives before yes. with Alpha Lambda Delta, which is the honor society I'm currently president of, and she's oh, vice. Right. So we know what it takes to, to run a team, to run a group of individuals, and we know together that we can do a great job. And our platform for SGA is basically focused on three main points, spirit, growth, and accomplishments. And we wanted to focus on those three main things because they are what, what we want to encourage in this university. And first of all, spirit, this university ne needs to see a growth of Bronx pride. And exactly. Me and George, uh, we love this university. We, we have tons of school spirit. And so we want to see that in our fellow Bronx as well. And also growth, not only academically in your classrooms and or the in the LAC, but as well as an entire person. And our third uh, point would be growth. Uh, no, sorry, accomplishment. accomplishments. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to see you attain your future accomplishments. We're all here to get our, our diploma, to get a degree, but we want to help you beyond. That we inform the students of the knowledge of what's going to take place. What's coming up ahead of time so that there's no surprises, so that preparation can be done on behalf of the university and on behalf of the student to help the transition that we're going to be seeing next year. It's going to make a big impact and we're doing our best to settle the blow of what the budget cuts are going to do to our university. What makes us different is that we're student leaders who not only stay in one area, but we reach out to the entire university. We're both certified peer educators. We work a lot with the incoming freshmen. We work a lot with leadership programs. And we know how to talk to the different groups of students, not only stay on this side of the library, but also reach out to the students that really have a need, like the engineering building and the science building, the nursing programs, students like that have children, students that are veterans, we know how to work with all kinds of students, exactly. all kinds of peers. We have that training, we have that background in that, and we know how to really, really represent an entire student body. Our love and our passion, our character, and really our experience as leaders, overall leaders. And what makes us different, I feel as well, is the colleges we represent. Most of the candidates before come from the College of Business, the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, uh, I myself represent Arts and Humanities and Education and Steph as well with Arts and Humanities and we feel that it's a very different feel that we can bring to SGA. We know the concerns, we have the background as she previously explained, of the mentoring programs that, that we provide to future students coming in that will be the next generation of UTPA.